Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. So this is the part two battery drain test with the OnePlus 7 Pro, but right now using the 60 Hertz display mode. Previously, if you checked my part one battery drain test, I used the 90 Hertz, uh, of course, mode, so just to see what is kind of difference in the battery drainage. Uh, also, right now, I'm gonna do also a, probably another video regarding the Quad HD and Full HD difference while playing PUBG. We'll see how that will look like, so please make sure to stay tuned for that one. And right now, again, the same Wi-Fi only activated. Also, we have the Fnatic mode activated, you can see by itself, and the screen brightness is around 50%. Also, the speakers will be around 85%. I'm gonna just... Yeah, that's it. Anyway, stay tuned. Remember, this is 4,000 mAh battery, and this is also a Chinese international version of OnePlus 7, which I have with the Oxygen OS latest update. Yep. And I have to say again that this is gonna be for half hour, which we will note in a minute. Okay, just 99%, and it's, let's check it out, it's 305. 305 till 335. Half hour exactly, so let's play it now. I can tell you ninjas that I can feel the difference between 60 Hz and 90 Hz in real life. You can feel it ninjas, honestly. If you have a really great vision and if you use a lot of smartphones uh, in your life or something like that, you can see the difference in between 60 and 90 Hz. Again, it's not a drastic, drastic difference there, but you can see it. I don't know if the OnePlus done in something like that with the software optimization to feel it like that, to behave like that, but honestly, in real life, you can see, feel the difference. I'm talking basically like scrolling around, opening the apps, typing, etc, etc. Uh, regarding the UI, it just looks more smoother if you activate the 90 Hz display mode. Cheers, mate. Ninjas, I'm not gonna show you the whole uh, gameplay. Nobody can, will watch half hour battery drain test. Uh, most of you will play, uh, check a little bit, few minutes, and then you're gonna just probably go to the end of this video to check the results of the battery drain. Hey man, man, I'm here, I'm here. Very smooth, very smooth indeed, but I prefer the 90 Hz display mode. This fluid display. I will make a, uh, I will make a comparison, PUBG 90 Hz, 60 Hz, uh, the smoothness, I will make that, you will see the difference by yourself. Remember, I'm using a GFX tool, 60 FPS, full HD plus resolution. Option for accentalizing, shadow is activated. Such a beast, oh my god. This is one, why OnePlus is one of my favorite brands. Just love the smoothness of the Oxygen OS. The Android skin is just the beast of the beast. Also, we're gonna test here the heating on the end. Please make sure to watch it. Um, I can 
sucker. That was a great kill. So with the 90 hertz, the display was overheat. I think it was overheating at 48 Celsius, ninjas. Let's check it now. And I will show you after 15 minutes. This is right now, let's see here, 44 Celsius. With the 60 hertz display mode, refresh rate, 45, 45, ninjas. 44 point, yeah, 45. Oh my God, just after six minutes of the gameplay, 45. Anyway, we're gonna see how it's gonna heat after half hour. So let's fast forward everything or we'll just pause the video. Okay, we are back. We are back, we have, I think we have three minutes more to play this game. Until half hour, yeah, three minutes more. Check it out, Ninjas. Uh, so before we finish this uh, video, this gameplay, I will show you right now. Oh my God! Allah, 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 Akbar. Ninjas, this is the record. I can't, honestly, I can't believe that this device, this is the record. This is the first time I'm seeing this kind of temperature. Oh my God, Ninjas, 52 Celsius. What? What, man? Oh my god, this is completely crazy. OnePlus will need to work on more. I'm having the Chinese version with the Oxygen OS. I don't know what other reviewers are doing. Uh, is this is this reported on YouTube, this issue? 52 Celsius, this is uh, insane, Ninjas. This is unacceptable in my opinion. Xiaomi Mi 9, I think, was 47 a maximum, but this is 5 Celsius more. Crazy man. Where is he hiding? Anyway, you will put ninjas, you will put, of course, uh, you will put a case on your smartphone so you're not gonna feel this temperature this much. But check on the back, uh, on the back there's like 4 Celsius difference. The maximum that you can see on the back is 48 Celsius, ninjas. But on the front, again, 52.5. Oh, oh my god, 53 ninjas, I think we can go to 53. Yeah, that's almost 53 Celsius there. This is the first time I'm seeing this kind of overheating on any on any flagship ninjas. Anyway, uh, let's try to, uh, we're gonna try to just basically, just. So just minute and a half more. Let's check it out. 3.34, so we're gonna play it till 3.35. Just one minute more, Ninjas. Oh my God, I can't believe that this device is overheating. This is the first time I'm seeing, I repeat again, this is a con. I mean, honestly, this is a con. And I don't know how in the heck, I, I suppose that, uh, I suppose that uh, it will overheat more on uh, 90 hertz. But it's not, Ninjas, it's uh, the otherwise, other hand, basically it's like, a different case there, a different scenario, it heats more on 60 hertz display mode. How to explain this, this is also probably kind of a software bug or so. But maximum that I saw with the 90 hertz was 48 celsius. With the 60 hertz it's 53 celsius, 5 celsius difference. I don't know how to explain this bug, this difference, why it's different like this. It's sh basically normally uh, thinking logically there, it should uh, heat less on 60 hertz display mode. So I don't know how to explain this thing, Ninjas. Anyway, 35 Celsius there. Let's see here, it's 79 Celsius, Ninjas. It's 79 Celsius. Uh, sorry for that, not 79 Celsius. It's 79% of the battery. So basically 20% exactly, 20% for half hour, Ninjas. We're gonna go quickly just to AIDA 64 and go to the thermals. And uh, yes, you can see by self here. Let's go to the battery, 47 Celsius. We had with the 44 Celsius, we had with a 90 Hertz display mode. So it's like three, four Celsius difference. I don't know how to explain this thing. 
I'm not that technical and I'm not that uh, kind of super, super smart, geeky guy to explain you and to know exactly because I'm not uh, basically the guy who uh, produced this device, who created this device and I'm not one of those people who uh, assembled all these uh, things. But uh, let's go back to uh, just a minute to the battery here. Battery usage, view detail usage. PUBG 34, yeah, if we of course mention, because before that I've been waiting until the battery drops to 99%. So yes, exactly half hour playing PUBG, it took 20% of the battery in just, remember with the GFX tool, maximum graphics, HDR extreme mode, analyzing 4x so it will take 40 percent for one hour ninjas uh, so basically you're gonna have around two and a half hours screen on time ninjas maximum two and a half hours screen on time uh, with this result ninjas again not that satisfied not that satisfied i don't know why we don't have a better again uh, i have to admit that this is on maximum graphics but for the 4000 milliamp hour battery black shark ha gives you better Black Shark gives you ninjas uh, 3 hours and 45 minutes of uh, screen on time. Again, which is really odd, uh, 90 hertz display mode will give you slightly better, but, uh, slightly better uh, screen on time. Again, crazy thing. I don't know how to explain this thing. It, it shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be different, man. It should be a different case. They should, this one should uh, drain less, but it's otherwise. I don't know how to explain this thing, ninjas. Anyway, you're gonna, I'm gonna have a separate video where I'm gonna do a split screen a battery comparison and you will see the results by yourself. For now, this is just exclusively one single video regarding PUBG on 60 Hz display, Fnatic mode with the OnePlus, six, uh, OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, let's just, yeah, you can see by yourself, Fnatic mode is activated. I'm not, um, maybe I'm gonna even do a gaming versus Fnatic mode difference if I find free time. But I will make for sure Quad HD versus Full HD uh, battery comparison with the OnePlus 7 Pro. It does have a huge battery, uh, it does have a huger, bigger screen display uh, in compared to the Black Shark and Xiaomi Mi 9. It is slightly bigger. Remember, because it, it's like even, you see by itself, it's a huge, this device is huge, and it just, it's almost like a phablet. It's almost a phablet, it's almost 6.8 inch screen. Anyway. I love OnePlus 7 Pro Ninjas, it's such a great beast, you get a sustained performance, I'm gonna also do CPU throttling test, so please make sure to watch uh, my other videos. For now, what I'm not satisfied, it is this overheating issue, this is the first time I'm seeing 53 Celsius Ninjas, 53 Celsius. On a commercial smartphone, I never saw this, maybe four years ago when we had the issue with the Snapdragon 800 series 801 and 808, if you remember those smartphones. But in the last two and a half years, this is the first time I'm seeing the, these kind of temperatures on a flagship commercial smartphone. My salam is here till next time. Remember, buying uh, links will be below $645 for the 6GB RAM variant, $670 for the 8GB RAM variant with 256 gigs of storage, which I'm having right now. This is the most expensive version which I have uh, right now available uh, globally. My salam, peace. Buying links below. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!